Hiroshima six years ago in the wake of the first atom bomb. Out of the first atom bomb's ashes, there rises a new city. Richard, we made a mistake. I know. I've hardly slept since that night. We created a monster. No, we created a necessary evil. Something too weak to know its own strength. What are you suggesting? Suggesting we end this cold war. You've gone insane. The bomb is stronger than anything else in this world. It's still stuck. In its fragile shell. You know, why don't you go get yourself some coffee? I figure you have your umbrella over here. Richard, we can make it stronger. Stronger than anything else in the world. Strong enough to return the United States to its rightful glory. Something so strong that even the Soviets wouldn't dare cross it. It's getting late. I really don't have time for this. We merely created a monster. And what we needed to create was death itself. You psychopath! Have you no remorse for the thousands that we've killed? The millions more that are now going to be at risk, it is not man's place to determine who lives or dies. Fool, this weapon can save lives, reverse the damage we've done to this world. It's too late. No death can undo the harm that we've already caused. Richard, the United States government has created an agency that has been tasked with creating a weapon so powerful that it will not only end this conflict, but all future wars. Your knowledge is vital to the success of this program. Help end the suffering. We've lost it. There will always be suffering. All we need to worry about is not creating more. If you do not join this operation, you have no place as a patriot, and the United States does not take kindly to traitors. This is not what we fought for, and if this is patriotism, I want no part of it. decision will cost you, Richard. Get out. What kind of world are you going to grow up in, huh? go to the party like all the guys will be there and you really don't even have to talk to the girls and if you do you know something might work out it's not that good okay the girls are still gonna be there they're still bad yeah but like you really don't have to talk to them 
how about this? We go to the party, get some free food, and then if you don't like it, we just leave. But they're in the same house. I, they're just nearby. I don't like that. Well, we just hang outside the house with all the guys that will be there. And... 25 minutes, and if oh, yeah? it's bad, we leave. Sure. I mean, we gotta have time to go in and get the food, but like, get the after food, that, make I'm fine appearance. with whatever. Don't get distracted by the girls inside. Yeah. All right, that sounds good. Sounds good. I, I do. I guess I will. Boys! She's gonna be there. Dude, this is your chance. Just go say something funny to her. I literally can't. Come on, Jesse. It's Hot Boy Summer. Just go ask her about her summer or something. <laughs> Man, girl, are you a parking ticket? Because you've got fine written all over you. So how was your summer? It's pretty good, I guess. So, how was your summer? It's fine. Hey man, what are you doing? Yeah, it looks like your conversation was going really well. Yeah, it looks like yours was going a lot better. Hmm. You know, maybe at least you'd look here. Jesse, for you. Hey, kid. I'm so sorry to tell you this, but your father passed away. I wish it wasn't true, but there was an accident on the road here, and despite the best efforts of our medical personnel, we weren't able to save him. I'm sorry. Hey man, is there anything I can do? No, nothing. All he left me was this. I'm joining the army. Jesse, you can't bring him back. But I can teach the Soviets a lesson. They may not be as smart as him, but I can do my part. I can serve my country, my people, my family. What about school and the boys in the summer? Don't you understand? This is what I have to do. Well, I guess we just have summer in the army. What? I'm not letting you go alone. Come on. Mom, I hope you guys are all doing well. I miss y'all a lot. Honestly, I'm so nervous about joining, but you have to trust me that it is better this way. I want to use what happened and my pain as fuel to really do something and make an impact. I know I can never live up to the legacy that Dad left behind, and I don't pretend to, but I know that I have something to give. Some spirit, some part of me that could serve our country, just like Dad always tried to do. <laughs> Rodney refuses to back down about joining. He just won't let me do anything alone, I guess. 
As skeptical as I am about his motivation, I couldn't wish for a more loyal friend. Basic training starts tomorrow. <laughs> See you when we get kicked out. Jesse. My name is Sergeant Hathaway. If you survive training, you might be weapon. Until that day, you're dead to me. Take off that hat, Private. Are you trying to disrespect this company? Sir, no, sir. Give me that. Now go get it. Private, do you shave with a broken bottle in your own spit? Sir, yes, sir. What is your name, Private? Rodney Russell, sir. Drop and give me 20. Private, your proof evolution's a lie. Get up. What is your name, Private? Sir, Jesse Ross, sir. I knew your father, son. He's a good man. I'm sorry. Who's laughing? What are you laughing at, Private? I forgot, sir. You make me believe in reincarnation because no one can be this stupid in a lifetime. Ladies just walked out. Ma'am. Ever go again? Ladies first. Alright, let's see it. That was a fluke. So what brought you into the Army Chief? Family mostly. Dad served, grandfather too. So it's a family tradition then. Man, you are failing to live up to that. 
I guess so. What do you learn to be such a moron? <laughs> I don't know. It's just kind of the way I roll. It helps to deal with things. Yeah. I've got this letter from my dad who died that I still haven't opened yet. Yeah, I, I know it hurts. But still, it wouldn't hurt to behave a little more principled, maybe? Lighten up, Chief. The rules are more like guidelines, anyway. The rules are all we got. Don't make a noise. Officer, it's our duty as soldiers. Your duty is to follow orders. I'm not sending three new recruits into the frying pan to save one man. That man's the reason I'm here, and you're not doing enough to get your man back. We're doing everything we can. I'm not gonna send three inexperienced morons to save one man. Officer, with the right equipment, we are more than qualified enough for this mission. I couldn't care less about what you think you could do, Private. You boys can't handle this mission. Our job here is to do everything we can to save lives, not lose more of them. Get out! This isn't fair. Cowards who won't save one of their own. So we get them anyway. What? Well, if they won't let us get them, we just go ourselves. You're out of your mind. And get kicked out? If it means that, I guess we'll ask. That's ridiculous. Maybe not. What's your plan? Get in and get out. Top boy summer. We saved Jesse. Well, you know, I never cared much for them snakes in command anyway. I'm in. How about you? Do you have an actual plan for this, or are we just going in blind? It's more of what not to do. Well, what are we not gonna do? Die. I'm really questioning why I agreed to this right now. You agreed to this because Jesse's your friend. You want to get him back. And the army won't do it for us. And if going in without a plan means getting our boy back, that's what we're gonna do. You gotta remember, we're not in the army anymore, so if we kill someone, that's on us.
Do you seriously not understand what's going on, you insolent fools? Many years ago, our fathers, Robert Oppenheimer and Richard Ross, worked together on a weapon of peace. My father trusted Richard with his own very life, and they used this bond to end a total war. But then, when a so-called Cold War emerged, threatening even more bloodshed than before, Richard refused to service. Though he possessed plans in the form of a letter for an even greater nuclear weapon that would end armed conflict for all time, he would not surrender them to his country. For years, I watched my own father suffer as he coped with the reality that he could not save his country alone. Meanwhile, Richard Ross, this dreg's father, hidden cowardice. My father failed his mission. He failed his family, his wife, and his son. I'm not carrying on his legacy. I'm creating my own. You see, I'm not fighting for my country. And nor is he. This letter is not simply a declaration of affection, but the keys to a better world. I'm fighting for something greater, something you can't see. This is the pathway to peace. That's absurd. The father's letter is not a solace. It's the blueprints to a nuclear weapon to end all wars. We've been working covertly for five years to possess the weapons necessary to force both sides to absolute surrender. This man. Possess the plans to execute that goal. You've gone insane! It's too late. You've already lost. Probably true. Man. I see that. Yeah, but what about the bomb? Take it. I don't want it. Go. So, who's gonna take it? I guess I will. I can't leave it. Yeah, I think we're out of it now. Get rid of it. We're losing them.
gotta take the wheel! Are you kidding me? We saved one of our own, not to mention rid of the United States of psychotic terrorists who clearly has some hold in some underground government scandal. You define miscreants got a med kill. I told you you couldn't handle the mission. You disobeyed direct orders and caused the casualty. You boys don't understand the stakes. That man was my best friend. I know the stakes, officer. I know what we've lost. But I won't let Rodney die in vain. He died discovering corruption. Your friend died in a stupid attempt at heroism. You and your company's rash actions have led to a needless national panic. Maybe that panic is warranted, officer. What other secrets are we hiding? These terrorists were not Soviets. They were Americans. Members of some underground organization in our own government. You morons have fallen into some pseudo-McCarthyism. Our government has always been strong and safe. I came here to fight for justice, not to sit back and accept tyranny from slimy politicians. Enough! It's dishonorable discharge for both of you. Get out! This isn't fair. What about the letter? The plans?
be happy Cause you know I cannot bear to see you in this state of melancholy curled up in your chair Please don't worry Cause the world will break apart as easy as the glass you dropped and smashed when you tried to climb the stairs There was a time not long ago you stood right by I guess I will. Can't leave it.